For years, I've been waiting for Apple to add the feature that would allow iOS users to tone down the bright blue hue given off of the device's screens and make them a bit warmer. That feature is finally here, and it's called Night Shift. Let's take a look at it. So Apple says that many studies have shown that exposure to bright blue light in the evening can affect your circadian rhythms and make it harder to fall asleep. Well, whatever that means, a new feature called Night Shift uses your iOS device's clock and geolocation to determine when it's sunset in your location. In a nutshell, the feature automatically shifts the colors in your display to the warmer end of the spectrum, making it easier on your eyes. Yes, it's that orange hue you've already known for years featured on the Mac using a tool called Flux, and if you're an iOS jailbreaker, you'd know that Flux is available through Cydia as well. And just as you'd expect, in the morning, it returns the display to its regular settings. Night Shift is in beta right now, featured in the most recent build of iOS 9.3, so we can expect it to hit all iDevices in the coming months. As small as this feature may seem, it's a pretty big deal to me, and that's why I wanted to dedicate a video to it. In the late afternoon, my display slowly transitions from being the bothersome bright blue hue to the warm and easygoing orange tone. It's so much easier on my eyes, and I've noticed that it makes the screen a lot friendlier to look at. I can also more quickly focus in and out of my device's warm hue display to other subjects around me without my eyes bugging as hard as they would with a brighter blue display hue. As for whether or not I've noticed a difference in sleeping better, I can't say that, but there is definitely a major improvement on how the display is on my vision. It's just so practical that I can't imagine why Apple would wait so long to implement the feature. What I want to see next is a few things from Apple regarding Night Shift. The first is a toggle within Control Center to flip the feature on and off. However, I think my request may have already been acknowledged, as the Canadian Apple website regarding iOS 9.3 already displays this toggle on an iPad screen, so this is something I'd expect in a future build of iOS 9.3 before its debut. Additionally, the original developers of this feature could easily be named the folks responsible for Flux, and since their app was pulled, without jailbreaking, can only implement the feature on OS X. They've sent an open letter to Apple asking for APIs that will allow Flux developers to further advance Night Shift to allow each and every user to customize the feature specifically to their liking. I can see this going two ways, either positively since Apple loves when developers go the extra mile with stuff like this, or Apple not even acknowledging their letter, as they may be the only ones who want to advance their own feature. It should be interesting to see though, as Flux said in their statement that they have big plans for the next version of their feature. Anyways, that just about does it for this video. If you want to learn more about iOS 9.3, I'll leave links in the description below. If you want to register your device to run the 9.3 betas now and have access to Night Shift and all the other new features added on before everyone else does, I'll leave links down below to get registered with UDIDregistrations.com so you could do just that. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below for more content headed your way very shortly. And that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.